Hello friends, are you ready for some spooky ass paranormal videos? Well I am. Today we're gonna check out a small channel called Discover Dave 450. I will leave a link in the description down below. So go over to his channel, leave a like and subscribe. Done it? Good. Let's continue. Let's check it out. Let's see what he got. Greetings, thrill seekers. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to our channel. Thank you. We dive into the mysterious and unexplained. Today, prepare to be captivated eh. as we unveil the top 10 paranormal events caught on camera. From ghostly apparitions to inexplicable phenomena, these spine chilling moments will leave you questioning the boundaries of reality. Buckle up as we journey into the unknown, where the supernatural comes to life before your very eyes. But beware. I'm looking what forward with this one. Witness may send shivers down your spine. I'm ready for shivers. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share the paranormal intrigue. Do it now. Number 10. A Spooked Cat To commence our exploration, we transport you to Ontario, Canada, where an intriguing incident unfolded in the residence of Kathy Gallinger, a 45-year-old woman. In the year 2000... Kathy the Cat? Gallagher? Oh. It's always these dolls, man. Always creepy dolls. They're always haunted. Why do you buy creepy dolls? 2022, Kathy gained attention by asserting that she had encountered paranormal activity in her newly occupied home. She observed the... And why did they spook the cat? I didn't see any movement. Did you? Peculiar occurrences with objects seemingly moving autonomously, sparking a sense of unease. Undeterred but curious, Kathy took the initiative to install CCTV cameras at various locations within her house. On a particular day, her efforts seemed to yield results. Salem, her cat, with a fitting oh, mystical name. Look at this mist coming out of the dolls. Have a look. Efforts seemed to yield results. Yeah, Salem, her cat, with a fitting there. mystical name, was observed sitting alone, fixated on two nesting dolls. Abruptly, Salem leapt and fled. Upon scrutinizing the footage, a discerning eye might spot something emerging from one of the doll's bodies. Yeah. Kathy elucidated what is it? that the doll, a family heirloom dating back to the 1950s and once belonging to her mother, Burn it. held an unexpected secret. Burn it. Number 9. The Great Ghostly For enthusiasts of literature and classic cinema, F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Great Gatsby, holds a special allure. Its transformation into a captivating film with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire solidifies its standing as a compelling masterpiece. Amidst the brilliance of the great Gatsby, great movie. David Buchanan emerges as a particularly captivating character, widely believed to be influenced by Ginevra King, a socialite with rumored ties to Fitzgerald, Daisy's character takes an added intrigue. In 2018, during a stroll near King's summer house, Christina Rennery captured a peculiar anomaly in a selfie. A ghostly figure seemingly peering from behind her. The spectral presence. How did she see from this photo? Stroll near King's summer house. Christina Rennery. Ah, I'm so bad at this. Eh. Selfie. A ah. ghostly figure seemingly peering from behind. Look. Did I see this from this photo? What kind of eyes do you have, man? Now he just zooms in here, but... Why did they zoom in? I don't know. Behind her, the spectral presence speculated to be a ghost of... But look at that, man. Is that pareidolia? Or is it a ghostly face? Definitely looks like, you know, got a nose, a mouth, and some eyes, and some hair. Could be a splotch on the window. Ginevra King adds an enigmatic layer to the narrative, suggesting a lingering presence of the influence in the world. While skepticism exists, I'm curious to hear how you have your thoughts on this matter. Could it be her? I don't know. Maybe. You tell me down below. Please share your opinion in the comment section below. Yeah. Number 8. The Thirsty Ghost. 
In 2012, Donna Ayers faced the challenge of convincing others about a peculiar occurrence in her house. Seeking vindication, she recorded a video capturing an unusual incident in her kitchen, a cup moving seemingly on its own. To dispel doubts, Donna revealed the empty space beneath oh. the cup, ruling out external influences. The question persisted, what force caused the movement? Donna attributing the phenomenon. This can happen if there is, you know, some water or something under the cup, you know, and maybe the 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 table is not flat, you know, or maybe it's paranormal. It could be. Moving on to a haunting by her late but it brother, moves weird yeah? believe in the paranormal influence it moves weird it marked the culmination of her efforts to validate her claims bringing a sense of vindication to her experiences with the unexplained number seven just wants a cup of coffee mm -hmm. parents are familiar with the inventive excuses children devise to avoid school but what if a haunting was the true case in 2017 a middle school in ireland became the stage for eerie events captured on cctv oh. A backpack mysteriously launched off a locker. A poster descended from the wall, and stairs in the hallway moved inexplicably. Rumors yeah. of haunting had long surrounded the school, tracing back What's to its on? origin on a former execution ground. The paranormal occurrences suggested spectral entities expressing otherworldly discontent by manipulating the school's objects, adding a chilling layer to the establishment's history. Number six. Number six. Pet store. Returning to tales of ghosts attempting to bridge the gap between realms, our next narrative unfolds in Oregon. In 2018, Andy Gomez, the owner of a marijuana dispensary, asserted that his shop was under the influence of supernatural forces. To substantiate his claim, he presented surveillance footage that captured an eerie occurrence, a pot jar inexplicably oh. moving on its own while he was arranging the premises. Wow. As if the spectral pot jar weren't enough, Andy went on to describe a peculiar sensation of a strange presence during the incident. He expressed, I kind of felt like... That ghost just wants some weed, man. Who can blame it? Who can blame the ghost? I want some weed, man. Sorry. Like somebody was standing next to me, or like somebody was right there. To add to the mystique, attention is drawn to a jar containing pens on the counter. Given the nature of the business as a pot dispensary, any tampering They're with also moving on their footage own. could have serious legal consequences, potentially leading to legal repercussions for those involved. Number five. Number Super five. Speed. Prepare for an astonishing tale. Oh. Ghosts and shadows that moves with superhuman speed creeps me the f out that may challenge belief in 2019 a perplexing video surface watch out showcasing what seemed to be a superhuman or ghostly entity performing a miraculous act of saving a woman's life the footage captured by a local cctv camera unfolded what holy toaster man and the air fryer look at this unsupervised lady attempting to cross the street alone Suddenly, an enigmatic figure materialized and swiftly what? grabbing her out of harm's way, seemingly out of nowhere. The origin and nature of this figure remain a mystery. What was the baffled F? about how it executed such an unbelievable rescue. Whoever. Wow, that's weird. You see it from two different angles as well, two different cameras. Or whatever this entity was, its timely presence. Holy crap, a man! Dire outcome. Underscoring the importance of its intervention in the mix. Talking about guardian angels. The time. Number four, getting the right angle. Nestled in Omaha, Nebraska, the Museum of Shadows boldly asserts its status as one of the most haunted museums globally, boasting thousands of certified haunted items securely stowed away. While skepticism may surround such claims, the museum has provided intriguing footage showcasing the peculiar activities within its confines. One particular clip, captured in 2020, well, unfolds in what appears to be the museum's basement, housing various artifacts. Did you see it? The highlight of the video is the inexplicable rotation of a chair, sparking speculation wow. about whether it gained a mind of its own or if an unseen presence reluctant to be revealed occupies it. The eerie occurrence adds to the museum's mystique, 
leaving visitors and viewers alike to ponder the supernatural phenomenon within its walls. Wow. Number three. This airy. Granny wants in. Joey Granny and wants Amy in. Ratke, a couple from Minnesota, garnered attention in March of 2022 when they shared unsettling footage that left viewers disturbed. The couple, having left their new home for errands, left the surveillance cameras on oh, the monitor. Oh, you shatter creep! Upon their return, they were met with a chilling sight. A figure that eerily resembled an old woman in pajamas. Adding to the eerie atmosphere, even the Radke's pests were so spooked that they hastily sought refuge at the apparition's appearance. Holy pajama banana man. Look at this. Got a head. And, uh, and a white gown. Pajamas. Pajamas. Wow. Is that proof? Of the paranormal? Could be. Interestingly, the couple had previously received warnings. Uh, look at the that cats, they are scared. By an elderly woman who had passed away while residing there. Despite these four warnings, they chose to ignore oh. the signs. The disturbing encounter with the ghostly figure likely served as an undeniable confirmation, leaving them with an indelible impression of the paranormal activity within their home. That was a good one. Number two, here for a pint. In November of 2021, a peculiar incident. On hey, uh. Discover dive? It's a pint. It's a pint of beer. Unfolded at Not the Blue pint. House Pub on Corporation Road in Hinden. Take it from an avid beer drinker. Sunderland, shedding light on the notion that the departed may still yearn for their favorite pastimes. A video surfaced online capturing a mysterious moment. Freshly oh. poured pint of beer inexplicably tipping over. Pint? Spilling its contents onto the floor. The pub's owner, Darla Anderson, revealed that she had heard rumors about the location being haunted. But she had Imagine being a ghost. You haven't had a beer for 100 years, 150 years maybe. And you try to grab it. Try to grab a beer. But just spills. Because you don't have real hands. Oh, that's sad. She had previously dismissed these warnings. Up until that point, she had never witnessed anything unusual. However, the unexplained mishap with the beer added an intriguing layer to the pub's supposed haunting, suggesting that someone, perhaps from the beyond, still had a penchant for enjoying a nice brewski at the Blue House pub. Number 1. The oh. Nervous Guard for Jay Brown, a security guard, maintaining a high level of alertness was not just a professional commitment, but a personal one, especially when he believed he encountered a ghost in 2018, of course. In 2018, he shared a video on his YouTube channel. Jay showcased surveillance <laughs> footage from the hospital where he worked. And it just throws a book at it. But we don't see it. It's not visible on camera, I guess. That is unusual. Normally, they don't see it, but we see it on camera, you know. It's a new one. And he's just throwing that book at him, man. In the video, he can be seen sitting in the lobby when he suddenly jolts up, claiming to have seen what he believed was a ghost. While it might be tempting to dismiss Jay's experience, the footage does capture a whitish figure flashing in front of him. To add to really? Intrigue, Jay has I didn't see to it. Have heard footsteps they even captured a ceiling light falling on its own in the previous video. Expressing a mix of uncertainty and unease, Jay mentioned, This time, I guess it's gonna be, well, it's getting used to me or something. I don't know, that's kinda creepy. Yeah. The incident left Jay contemplating the eerie occurrences he had witnessed in the hospital, raising questions about the paranormal activity in his workplace. He's just perplexed. What the F happened there, man? What did he see? The stories shared highlight diverse and eerie encounters with unexplained phenomena, emphasizing the mysteries in our world. Exploring the unknown is always fascinating, with each paranormal tale offering unique elements. From haunted museums to ghostly figures and surveillance footage, these encounters showcase the diverse interpretations people have of the supernatural. If you have more questions or specific topics, that was all from Discover Dive 450. Remember to look in my description, there's a link to his channel. Go over to his channel and subscribe. He got under a thousand subscribers. Let's get him up to a thousand, shall we? Thank you all for watching.
Until next time. Bye bye.